This is November 2nd, 2022. The time indexed on the Pacific Standard Time is 1.51 p.m. California time, actually. We were John C. Roseman of the same state, California. I have a problem, guys, with all these right-wing folks expressing all their First Amendment freedom of speech opinions left and right, as colorful and as imaginative as they are, should be writing them into comic books or cartoons because all their damn theories belongs in such fantasy realms. There is no... Uh, what can I say? All the stuff that they're saying right now has no factual basis of belief. What drives me crazy is when the United States government is totally dependent upon one of these rumor spreaders as the chief sole transportation for the International Space Station, which affects millions of people out here, if not the own company of the fact checker himself. But it also affects a great deal of people beyond him. When Elon Musk actually proposed his own SpaceX company to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station, we were already depending upon a fascist state that was masquerading as a democratic country uh, with a lying adder who's already started a war with a country. Actually, prior before that. But he was still nuts enough anyway. And we were depending upon him and his good graces of transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station. And then Elon Musk happens to be the American breadwinner and showing how great of a guy he is. We all know about his technical prowess and his technical genius, theoretically. Because all, all the things he's been demonstrating that he wanted to help other people with. But over this past year, he's becoming darker in his own attitude towards American politics and also towards what he considers freedom of speech being curtailed. And he keeps forgetting him being a business owner, how much business owners are almost, almost not governed by the American government. Simply put, the American government and the protection of freedom of speech for companies. This guy has never researched, or if he did, he's trying to understand how Congress can actually limit corporations if the corporations were actually considered people, if they were actually considered people. And this is as much as this civilian has researched. Through the court cases that we've determined that corporations are individuals and not companies, because if they were companies, they would be under serious regulations of the federal. Some things are, other things are still debatable, because of the FEC versus the um, well, because of the ruling that the Supreme Court had done concerning about the Federal Election Commission versus other, country, uh, other companies at this point, they made a determination several years ago that Citizen Joe is Citizen Joe. He's a citizen. He's not to be governed by any regulations. And therefore, companies probably like Elon Musk could probably get away with shit. That being said, we do have an issue concerning about our space program and the freedom of speech because we have Elon Musk turning into a Trumpster every single day by his acquisition of the Twitter 
corporation or t Twitter company turned into a propaganda machine for the 1930s style propaganda and allowing such vitriol to be on there. He is literally recreating the environment to happen in Germany back in 1930 through, th through 1940. Trying to support a regime change, if possible, in the United States government to where hopefully, or to their hope, that will be turning into a kind of state of government or even Putin's kind of state of government. I dare not mention the H word because I do know how much social media and everybody else really does not like. Neither are the other names associated with it. But then using the country that it was coming from, not to mention other countries associated with, like Japan and uh, Italy. And Russia. My question is, are we actually going to be recreating the axis of powers all over again? Are we going to be repeating in the conservative mode what the 1930s was? America, we didn't have that kind of situation. We were still trying to get through the damn depression and trying to survive left and right. But in countries like Germany had already been through one world war. They decided to go for revenge number two, uh, part two. Actually, uh, part one. They never did get to part two. This could be part two in America for Germany. With all the right wing or nut jobs out there, we could be repeating it all over again. Is it possible that America might turn into another fascist state without us realizing it? Can we ever get ourselves back to where America was supposed to be? Or have we lost it? We have political pundits across the board. Some are laughing at other people's misery and despair. And not to mention cruelty. And they think it's a joke. And they blame it on others. And they still think it's a joke without accepting anything for themselves. On the other side, we're looking at all the damn horror. And we're noticing that people are more and more falling into what someone had called it a cold civil war. I call it the civil civil war. Civil because we haven't gotten into a full-scale combat situation yet. The combat situation I'd be referring to if we actually did pull out people out of their houses and living quarters interrogate the living crap out of them without us having authority of any sort but pretending we did and then act upon as if we've got the authority to rule over them or torture them or worse. We already have the lone wolves still doing their things as in the Pelosi situation where they think they want accountability and they can have the Justification, justification of bursting into people's homes and start terrorizing and, and attempted murder. And yet the person in court who did this to Pelosi is claiming he is innocent. Despite the fact he's got witnesses, doesn't matter. He is claiming it in court. He's got the legal right to do so. Which means he's going to need to have a jury of peers, or a jury of 12 anyway, with subordinates, well, backups anyway, and have two or three month long case over this. 
witnesses to the fact, testimonies, forensic evidence. And by the time we get this done, elections have already been over. And people are presuming that the right-wingers will take control. If God help us if it does, we happen to get the left wingers in control. Be a miracle, Lord. We will still have to have a three months trial for this nut job. And he will still demand things. I had watched a little bit of an ending of a trial on YouTube of this one Halloween massacre to happen I think last year or year before that in Wisconsin. This guy decided to defend himself. He's gotten more and more issues with the judge ending himself more and more into contempt of court. And in the end he still found himself guilty. And still fighting the sentencing. Still trying to be an argument about it. I don't know if he had an admired son of a bitch or actually want to just bury his ass alive for the fun of it. But he buried himself in the court system. He did the crime, he's doing the time. And the people in another state wouldn't feel the same damn way. Especially when they had children arming themselves and killing other children and then a decade later were finding them in a court system with different people. Some actually didn't remember what the hell happened. Others had. And he finds himself being guilty, but he's going to live. In a state that allows death, this guy is going, this guy didn't get a unanimous thumbs down for death. He gets one solid thumbs up for life. So, he spends his entire life alive. And the parents get to suffer, and everybody else gets to suffer from the damn shooting. Meanwhile, the nut jobs are still making fun of it, and still laughing their heads off, and Blaming political parties and blaming and blaming and blaming. Without any finding solutions to what's happening right now. They don't care about the solutions. They only care about sticking with the heads with the problem. They only care about the damn problems. There's no solutions. There's only more problems that they have to expose. And if you don't like that tough shit, they're going to put it out again. Because you didn't get it. You didn't get the memo, so here it is. It's the other guy's fault. We're causing it all. We're not going to find solutions. we got to find who's blaming. Doesn't matter if we have things falling apart in this country. It's always easier to find someone else to blame for this shit. Without taking responsibility, accountability, or transparency. That was supposed to be theoretically the American way. That's what was taught in our society and our generations. But apparently that was falling on deaf ears. Because the new generation came out, the spoiled bastards, who think the world is theirs, and they're going to screw it up. And hell with the other future generations, because it's the other, it's the other older generation's fault. It's the younger generation's fault. It's not their fault. Meaning, if they happen to light a fire and burn down a house, it's the other guy's fault for not having sufficient enough fire insurance, or maybe didn't support the cops enough. Or maybe they did support the cops, but uh, it's still the cops' fault and the fire department's fault for the house being burned down because they weren't responding fast enough. It's that kind of logic that's being thrown into the wind for everybody these days because it's so easy to blame the other guy or the other person for anything and everybody. Despite the fact that I, if I happen to do something quite dastardly here, or say something quite desperately. 
It's not my fault that I blame. No, 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 no. I'm going to put the blame on you. I would put the blame on the, those who are watching me because it's their fault. I am responding for all of this. I am responding to all of the things happening because I blame everybody for, for putting me through this. They allowed me to see their stupidity, and therefore I must reply to it, and therefore I must do something dastardly and evil and, and wicked on here. May or may not kick me out, but then again, I blame you for the damn thing in the first place. Because you had to watch. You had to egg me on. You had to do something about it. You're involved somehow. So here we go. We're going to do the dastardly thing over here. We're going to point... We're going to point with a shaky finger at everybody. Do you not understand? It's your fault. It's your fault. Do you not understand? It's always your fault. You understand what's happening here. No, you don't. And you will never. Because this finger of mine is pointing at you. You're not... You're not saying this! You're not saying this! You're not saying this! No! It's not happening! It's still your fault because you're still watching! Aren't you? But it's still your fault! Not all the time you will! To get it, get the point. Did you get the point? I have done a disaster, dastardly thing. I have done something on here that put me into the lineup of everybody who's trying to find their own theoretical logic here of who is responsible for everything else. And I have tried to pin it down on the culprit because it's the culprit's fault. So my actions, my actions right there are the result of uh, 